welcome to my channel learning with HPB in this tutorial I am going to implement Prim's algorithm which is based on greedy approach which means that we are going to construct a minimum cost spanning tree which will include all the edges of a per undirected graph consider an example as shown as shown it consists of 1 to 7 vertices labeled 1, 2, 3, and 7, 1, 2, 3, so on, up till 7. These are the weights which are assigned to the graph edges such that we will now implement Prim's algorithm in general way. First of all, we will construct a cost adjacency matrix which is as shown. The cost adjacency matrix is constructed such that the path from particular edge to the edge it's from particular vertex to the vertex itself is zero. For example, one one it's zero, two two, two two it's zero, three three it's zero, four four and up to so on till seven. Now, if there is no edge between two vertices, then it is put infinity. For example, there is no edge between six and seven, so we have put between 6 and 7 infinity similarly between 6 and 7 it's again infinity similarly for the other rest of the cases if there is an edge between two vertices we have put the weight that corresponding to that edge now to construct a minimum spanning tree from the prince algorithm we consider this graph in this graph the main funda is that we will choose an edge which is of the minimum weight among all these among in this graph among all the edges 10 is the minimum weight between the vertices 1 and 6 so we will first draw an edge 10 now we will look for the neighbor of 1 and 6 such that the weight or the minimum cost after taking that vertex into account should be minimum for example if i choose 5 the weight is 25 and if i choose 2 the weight is 28 out of now we will total it that is 10 plus 25 equal 35 similarly 10 plus 28 10 plus 28 equal 38 now out of 38 and 35 35 is small small so we will draw a edge over here now as we reach vertex 5 we have two options either to go to 7 or to vertex 4 now out of these two now out of these two the minimum weight is of 22 that is from vertex 2 to the vertex 4 so we will draw a line over here similarly at vertex 4 we will have again two choices 7 and 3 because the weight of the edge between 3 and 4 is minimum so we will draw an edge from 3 to 4 similarly between 3 to 2 there is only one option and at reaching 2 we have two options that is to vertex 1 and vertex 7 so we will choose vertex 14 and weight uh, vertex 7 now this is our minimum spanning tree which is formed by including all the vertices of the graph such that include it includes all the vertices and the total weight is equal to 10 plus 25 plus 22 plus 12 plus 16 plus 14 which is equal to 99 now we have implemented this in the form in the journal way now let us go through the e algorithm. is the set of all the edges of an undirected graph cost adjacency matrix is already defined next we will construct a minimum spanning tree which consists which is implemented in the form of a matrix t matrix now first of all we will try to find out the minimum cost minimum cost edge which is equal to 10 in this case and the vertices are 1 and 6 so we will mark it as k and l as described by the first line of the algorithm that is k l be the edge of minimum cost and minimum cost is equal to cost of k l put the k l and that that is 1 and 6 into the t into the tree that is it will be like 1 and 6 we have put it into the 
t matrix next for loop is there which will get executed seven times for all the vertices from i is equal to 1 to n to initialize near matrix near matrix basically tells the nearest neighbor of a particular vertex that has already been added to the tree for example it will be 1 and 6 it will be 1 and 1 4 k is for i is equal to 1 now out of these two this is true so this will be executed so it means that near of 1 is 1 itself near of 2 is again 1 and near of 3 is not defined it means that there is no vertex or edge there is no edge from 3 to 1 or 3 to 6 similarly there is no vertex or edge from 4 to 1 from 4 to 1 and 4 to 6 so we it we have put a hyphen here which means it is undefined similarly near of 5 is equal to 6 and near of 6 is 6 itself and near of 7 is again undefined now we will mark near of k and near of l is equal to 0 near of 1 is equal to 0 and near of 6 equal to there are zero. 7 vertices in total and we have chosen vertex number 1 and vertex number 6 that is we have chosen two vertices now only five are left so this loop gets executed five times that is from i is equal to two three four five and six now from the near matrix we will choose an index j we will choose an index j such that near of j is not equal to zero it means this case is ignored this case is ignored and also cost of j and near j is minimum so out of this and this we have to choose a index with minimum cost so it is equal to 2 and 1 it is equal to 5 and 6 so out of these two this has the minimum weight so we will add this into the tree so we will add this into the tree earlier it earlier the tree was 1 and 6 now it will be 5 and 6 now we will again mark near of j is equal to 0 that is this will be marked 0 that is in marking it a particular vertex is equal to 0 means it has been added into the minimum spanning tree now we will update the near matrix such that near of k should not be equal to 0 now for k is equal to 1 this condition is false now for k is equal to true this condition is true but this condition becomes false as it will be 2 near of 2 is 1 and cost of 2 and 5 out of this this becomes this becomes false so now we will choose k is equal to 3 4k is equal to 3 this is true but this becomes false as k is equal to 3 this is equal to 3 and near of 3 is equal to infinity so this total cost will be equal to infinity and this is equal to 3 and 5 now 3 and 5 cost of 3 and 5 is again infinity so this is again undefined now we will choose k is equal to 4 if i put k is equal now to if 4 i choose k is equal to 4 it will be 4 and near of 4 is equal to infinity and cost of 4 5 cost of 4 5 is equal to 22 so we will choose 22 here this cost is equal to 22 and this cost is equal to infinity this condition holds true so near of k that is near of 4 is equal to 5 so this will be changed to 5 now this loop will again continue from here we will choose an index j which in this case now will be j will be equal to 4 similarly ultimately this again near loop near matrix will again get up updated and 4 i is equal to 6 it will come out of the loop and it will return the minimum cost 
and the final minimum cost spanning tree which will be formed by this process will be equal to as shown here and the total minimum cost will be equal to basically what we have to do in this algorithm in the prism algorithm we will have to choose a minimum edge and then we will try to find out the neighbor such that the minimum cost should be so that the minimum spanning tree which is formed has the least cost for example next we will include 25 we will include 22 basically we are seeing the neighbors and ultimately the final tree which will be formed is, is this thanks for watching